I was 13 when this happened. My parents left on a business trip to LA, so I had to stay home. My dad gave me his card so that I could order whatever I needed, so I kinda enjoyed being alone. And I wasn't scared because I've been home alone so many times, and besides, it was only for three days. Well, this was around the time the clowns were breaking into houses and doing some weird stuff. But they never came to my area since they usually hit more quiet places, especially the area near a forest. Although we had a fence that could easily allow someone to climb over, we didn't really think much about it because the area where we lived in was very safe. Anyway, it was around 6 p.m. and this was in the winter, so it got dark pretty fast. We had a glass room at the back of the house, also known as a conservatory, and it leads straight to the garden. The room was right next to the kitchen. I got a little hungry, so I went to the fridge, took out some snacks, and went back to the living room to continue watching TV. There was a roof on the glass room that intensified any sound that landed on top of it, even the gentlest drop of water. That day, it was raining heavily, so it was too noisy to hear anything except the rainfalls pounding on the roof. About a few minutes later, I was quite sleepy, so I decided to go up to my room and lay down. I was about to grab my phone and check my social media, but then I heard something drop really hard on something downstairs. It really creeped me out. I got really scared, but decided to go downstairs to check, thinking that it would be nothing. So I came out of my room, went halfway down the staircase, and looked down the hallway. The whole area was dark. But I knew that someone was standing there. I saw the back of a silhouette. I quickly went to my room trying not to make any noise. Then I heard someone walking around the living room. I immediately called the police and whispered to the operator that I needed help ASAP. <coughs> but all of a sudden I had a sneezing fit. I was so panicked at that moment so I instantly ran to the bathroom since it was the only room with a lock. As I was reaching the bathroom, he sprinted up the stairs so fast. I locked the door and tried not to cry. The man tried to open the door. He kept turning the doorknob. The bathroom had a small blurry window, but I was able to see outside. So, just then, I got a glimpse of what was at the door. It was a clown with green hair and without a nose. He was wearing a very weird outfit and was holding a gigantic knife. I had no other choice, so I quickly hopped inside the bath, opened the big window, and jumped out. I slid off the big roof and fell on the concrete. I couldn't even feel my injury because I was so scared. As I was about to hop on the fence, I heard the cops. They entered our house, and after that, they arrested and cuffed him. When he walked past me, I was so scared and my body was shivering. But I was glad that it was over. The police contacted my parents, so they came back home in a hurry. I would see them again, and I knew that I was safe now. From then on, I never stayed at home alone, and that clown guy was in prison for several years for scaring kids and for possible murder.